Hello, I will be uh, showing a very old video of mine where I have uh, done a phaco emulsification or a phaco aspiration in a congenital cataract. Initially, I take a 2.2 blade and make my uh, phaco incision. I then place, as usual, uh, two paracentesis wounds. And then I place in an air bubble and stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue. I do this step mainly to make uh, the capsule a little more taut. I use this property of the tripan blue rather than the staining property as such. Once done, I initiate my uh, rexus. I am planning to get a 5 mm rexus but always try to aim for a lower one and then you get a, your desired rexus. Since these capsules are very elastic, you would need a, a, a pediatric rexus forceps to make your life that much easier. Once done, hydro dissection is pretty simple. It has delineated as well and uh, the nucleus in fact has prolapsed out. I'm just making sure that I have adequate hydro dissection so that it is easier for me to take out all the uh, cortical material. Once done, I go in with my FACO probe. I am only using aspiration. There is no need to use any FACO energy as such. And. Uh, this is a child, I do not want to aspirate with my FACO probe. I go ahead and use the bimanual, which is far, far safer. It will take a little more time. But eventually, you can get all of it and have a very clean bag. It's very important to have a complete uh, removal of all cortical material as you know in pediatric cases there's almost a hundred ch percent chance of the posterior capsule or pacification. And even with all this removal, uh, since this child is below 4, you, you need to do a posterior capsulotomy and remove the anterior vitreous to uh, knock off the scaffold and prevent an after cataract in these uh, children. If you don't do these steps, uh, it's almost worthless doing the surgery because 100% it will opacify and the visual axis will be obscured again. Once I have removed all the uh, cortex, I once again place HPMC and I am now initiating my posterior capsulotomy. This is a different way in which I am doing. I have changed my technique nowadays. I usually go with a 30 gauge or a 26 gauge needle, puncture the capsule, inject some 
viscoelastic and separate the posterior capsule from the anterior hyoid. I have not done that step here. I have just initiated with the cystitome and then again taking my uh, pediatric rexus forceps and performing the posterior capsular rexus, which is only about 3 millimeters. That is another thing I do differently now. I do a larger posterior rexus. Once done, I have done the anterior vitrectomy as well. Put in some, and you can see some of the visco going back where the vitrectomy has done, been done. This has to be removed, and it will be removed. Since I am uh, placing the foldable lens, which has to go through a 2.8 millimeter, I have increased the incision. Yeah. I very carefully push first the leading haptic into the bag and then slowly dial and push the trailing haptic also into the bag. And then with the bimanual, I remove, keep pressing and all the viscoelastic will be aspirated. I then hydrate the wounds, place in a drop of atropin, check my wounds and this patient was done almost maybe 12 years ago and he is still, still now doing very very well. Thank you very much.